The Los Angeles Times wants to know what's the matter with Portland? But residents say it's the government's left wing policies that are causing the city's big problems. I'm worried. I am worried that the child that is inside of this RV is potentially going to blow up because there's propane tanks and open electrical wires going 100 feet down the fucking block. And our government here in Portland doesn't seem to think that that matters. A few residents from Portland join me now. Angela Todd runs the PDX Real Instagram account. Damian Bunting is a U.S. military veteran who you saw in that video. Both join me now. Great to have you both here. Damian, can you answer the L.A. Times? What is the matter with Portland? I don't think we have long enough on this show, Todd. There's so many things wrong with Portland, but uh, in a short sense, I think it's people's um, desire to do the right thing, but just having a inability to understand that, you know, in order to do anything, you're going to have to hold people accountable. There seems to be an effort to, um, you know, absolve people of being accountable for their own success, for their own happiness, for their own well-being. And um, that's having horrible results here. Angela, the L.A. Times seems to blame COVID, basically saying a lot of these problems really were exacerbated by COVID. And while that may be true, weren't the seeds of Portland's destruction really planted well before COVID? Yes, that's complete rubbish. The fact of the matter is, is that our policies, our government's policies are feeding these issues. It's working against making Portland a better place. Our government is completely enabling horrible behavior. Lots of people are suffering because of this. And I'm looking at the vote, and this happens in all cities, right? You look at who the people vote for, the policies are bad, they don't work, people get upset, but they still keep voting in the same far-left politicians. So don't you worry, Damien, that nothing is going to change if the people in Portland continue to vote in these far, far-left progressives who are basically leading to the destruction we're seeing. Well, you're running into a situation where the people who would be willing to see and make change, uh, there's just not enough of them. And so they're uh, doing one of two things. They're putting their head down like most people and just trying to get through their day and hoping that they're not accosted or harmed or they're leaving Portland. It's unfortunate. The people that truly would bring the most to this city and, uh, you know, and have a great option and opportunity to make this place a little bit better. Uh, unfortunately, they're being pushed out. They're leaving to go to nearby cities or they're leaving to go to other states altogether. Angela, let's look at the homelessness problem there in the county where Portland is. In 2019, about 4,000. In 2022, up to almost 6,700, 6,600 6, to be exact. Portland spends $94 million each year on the homeless. Yet those numbers seem to be skyrocketing. Where's that money going, Angela? I hate to correct you, but it's $255 million oh. a year in Portland with the Joint Office of Homeless Services. And we are a drug destination. This is the place to come. And word is out there. If you want to be fed, get free needles, be able to camp wherever you want and be able to use drugs with immunity. Uh, and frankly, if you commit a crime in the process, you probably are not going to be prosecuted. Uh, when we talk about waking up voters here, the problem is, is we have a very large faceted problem at many levels of our government, and it's going to require more than voting. It's going to require people being aware of what's going on when it's happening with these policies and pushing back with consistent pressure on our governing body. Damien, Angela mentioned drugs. Let's remember that Oregon decriminalized some hard drugs. Isn't Portland proof positive that that approach just does not work? It absolutely does not work. If anyone is considering using something that resembles Measure 110, uh, just take a look at what's happened here. It's absolutely atrocious, and it's it's reprehensible that not only the government but the people would vote for this because it has caused so much more destruction and damage in the peripheral. If people that don't necessarily do drugs or have any desire to do drugs were forced to be, um, you know, dealing with the situation as if we were, it's right. absolutely horrible. Damien and Angela, thank you for speaking out. It's so important. And I still can't believe that number you gave, Angela. That, that, where's that money going? I mean, that's an insane number for the number of homeless people. Somebody's Quarter of making a million money. dollars a year. Somebody's making a grift <laughs> there. Guys, thanks.